माय एग्रीकल्चर बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट फ्रॉम कैनेडा के जो एग्रीकल्चर रिलेटेड स्टूडेंट्स हैं तो उनका थोड़ी एक हेल्प हो जाए उनको थोड़ा एक गाइडेंस मिल जाए यूट्यूब पर कुछ भी मटेरियल अवेलेबल नहीं है फॉर द गाइडेंस ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर वॉट कैन यू एक्सपेक्ट फ्राम दिस चैनल द प्रोसेस दैट वी कॉन कॉल फॉर कैनेडा मूविंग ऑन टू कैनेडा Hello everyone my name is Indri Sapka and currently I am a student of Lambton College Sarnia and I am pursuing my agriculture business management from Canada so last year we made a video with Techno Vimal and it really went good many of them have dm me in my instagram as well as on linkedin and believe me jitna possible ho sake maine utna sab logon ko reply karne ki koshish ki but there are hundreds of dms and i am also new in canada so mujhe bhi bahut kuch explore karna hai then shifts uh, i am shift jobs i am unable to get that much time to reply each and every one of you so instead i thought ki ek naya video bana dete hai ek naya platform chalu kar dete hai jiske through uh, back in india ya fir other countries ke jo agriculture related students hai to unka thode ek help ho jaye unko thoda ek guidance mil jaye because as you guys know ki youtube pe kuch bhi material available nahi hai for the guidance of agriculture related to studies in abroad Uh, what the scope is how it's going to be uh, like what the market demands is there and how the study process is there so just a new start and i hope you guys like it and agar aapko acha laga to do subscribe it notification on karna pata nahi kya kya bolna hota hai wo sab youtubers jo bolte hain wo wala okay so first of all about me myself indrajit sapkar i am from basically from state of maharashtra india i have completed my bachelor's in agriculture engineering back in india and afterwards i have worked uh, as a territory business manager in mahindra for 2 years and later worked with a friend for one year and after which i decided to come to canada uh, so i followed the process i gave my examinations cleared my examinations and i moved to canada like uh, last year and it's been one year now currently i am pursuing my post graduation in agriculture business management at lambton college sarnia in canada it's been one year and i am at my study break right now uh, okay so what do you, what can you expect from this channel so the main purpose of this channel is to make a guide way for the agriculture students to make a new path so that they can uh, not only go in a single directions in competitive exams or in just corporate i wish they explore the other worlds as many other students from engineering college do so it's better agriculture students as well as uh, the foods uh, food science students they explore the new scopes that is available for them in the outside world uh so that's the main purpose of this channel uh i'll try my best that weekly or bi weekly i'll make a video step by step if each and every process how you can go through uh and along with that you can also expect the, the, that uh, many of my friends are actually doing their masters phd in abroad countries like in european nations there are few of them and few of them are, are in us as well as new zealand so i will try to reach out to them as much as possible so that uh, we'll have an interview uh, with those seniors and my alumni so it will also guide you like what in which country you want to go like i can explain for canada how much is possible and you, they can also guide you for uh, different nations if you wish to travel to different nations then they can also guide their scope in different countries related to agriculture so that's what you can expect from this channel uh, okay so let's get started so what are the general stages uh, or the process that we can call for canada moving on to canada so the first stage is giving your ielts or gre exam ielts is the international english learning testing system it uh, you have to give crack that exam with around 6.5 band in total and no less than 6 band in each of the sections so you have to crack that exams and it also depends on the university or college which you select uh, if they accept ielts or gre but most probably ielts is uh, been accepted by many of the universities as well as college as of now so that's the main process that you have to prepare for your ielts or gre we'll make a, another video in which i'll briefly explain about the ielts exam and how i managed to crack that exam in very first attempt 
so the next is apply for the college so after giving your examinations you have to shortlist your country as well as your college uh, there are like uh, you have to shortlist the college or the university which you apply to you have to shortlist your course uh, you have to make a list step by step like uh, how you wish to apply in each and every platform and then you have to apply for the colleges you don't have to apply for only one colleges but you need to apply for minimum seven to eight colleges because we cannot assure you that which university will accept you so by ranking make you have to make your step by step uh, college list then afterwards you after your application you have to wait for your college offer letter from the university once you get the college offer letter then the main process starts of bank loan and paying fees yeah believe me like uh, i am also from an agriculture fam- uh, farmer background so i have also taken the loan the whole amount is funded by loan for me also so we'll also discuss in the upcoming videos how the loan process is and you don't need to worry that much about the funding you have lots of options available for funding uh so bank loan and process it will consume around like one month of your time but yeah there is many fundings available many of the students from agriculture background are worried up mainly about the funding of their education that they don't have that much of amount available so bank loans and all are available and uh, that can be done so after that you have to open your gic account gic account is the like kind of bank account here in canada so you have to open it from india itself and uh, in that you have to deposit your one year's living expense for example if your one li- one year living expenses are around $10000 so you have to transfer uh, around $10000 already in your account from india because these documents you will need to show while applying for your visa so after that you will have the medical appointment where you have to give your medicals uh, there are limited hospitals in india uh, i'll try to share the list in uh, the upcoming videos of what are the registered hospitals for the medicals uh, after that you have to prepare all the documents and the main purpose most important the sop the sop you have to write yourself the sop is of 2 to 3 pages that's the standard procedure like why you want wish to come to canada why you have selected canada why you have selected that specific course what are your plans after studying that course you have to explain each and everything and recently for few candidates they might also call for the interview but uh, at my time we had to write the sop and we had to explain in just 2 to 3 pages our whole background as well as our future plan so it was kind of tough and after you co- collect all your documents and uh, the sob is ready you have to apply for the uh, visa so fingers crossed while applying for the visa <laughs> it's getting harder for uh, canada after after applying for visa within 10 weeks uh, 10 days you have to give your biometrics and you have to give your biometrics and after the biometrics you have to just wait wait for around 3 months 2 to 3 months is the minimum wait so after that hopefully then we get the visa the those 3 months are the most hectic one and this is the general procedure that is to be followed for applying for canada so this is just a general procedure in the upcoming videos uh, like i'll try to upload it by next week or within 2 weeks i'll try to upload and so in the next video i'll explain about uh, what are uh, how you need to start like what what's the start procedure from where you need to start how you should shortlist the nations or the countries you have to visit as well as your country how you need to do that what are the points to be considered while selecting the course or while selecting the college as well as the country if you guys have lots of questions please comment down below i'll try like th- those who are the maximum questions similar questions i'll try to make those first que- uh, first because uh, it will help you hopefully and if you start as of like right now it will help you and believe like this is a complete whole year one year procedure this is a comp- it takes it will take you around one year to complete this whole procedure so if you are starting right now then you will you might be able to make it to the admissions for september 2024 intake so better to start as soon as possible i'll be here to guide you by weekly hopefully i make it uh, so that's it 
सो सब्सक्राइब टू दिस न्यू चैनल लाइक कमेंट शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स हु विश टू गो टू एब्रॉड फॉर द स्टडीज इन मास्टर मास्टर्स इन एग्रीकल्चर एज वेल एज इन फूड साइंस सम रिलेटेड सब्जेक्ट्स सो दैट्स ऑल दैट्स ऑल एज ऑफ नाउ थैंक यू सो मच हैव अ गुड डे